how to create a Canva newsletter step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple newsletter using Canva. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're gonna sign up with Canva using your email. So you have to sign up with your email. After that, you're just gonna go into this search bar and you're gonna search for a newsletter. And then Canva will provide you different templates as well as a blank newsletter size to get started with. So it depends on the level of expertise. I'm going to show you how to get started with a blank newsletter. So we're just going to click on over here. But if you want to simplify your work, you can also pick one of their templates. But you're just going to click on create a blank newsletter over here. And once you have done that, you're going to have your simple um, A4 sized page where you can name it. So first off, we're just going to click on over here at the top and I'm going to name this newsletter and you can name it whatever. But after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started with designing my newsletter. So first off, what I'm going to search for is I'm going to search for borders over here and i'm just going to scroll down you can obviously go into the graphic section and you can search as much as you want until you find something you like so we're just going to do that and i'm going to look for something that is a static image so i find that these are pretty cute so or actually no i don't like them anymore but you're just going to search until you find something you like i really like this design so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to place it over here I'm going to expand it so it fits the entire page like so and I'm just going to do Control C and Control V and I'm going to place it on the other edge as well and I'm just going to zoom into my page a little to show you guys how I'm designing it. Now after you have done that or what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip this and I'm going to flip this horizontally just so it looks like totally symmetrical because I really like the totally symmetrical look. Now I'm just going to click on my canvas and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color and I'm just going to use these photo colors. I'm going to apply that then I'm going to open it up in document colors and then I'm just going to drag this way back over here. I'm going to use like this light shade of teal like this. I think this is a bit green, so I'm just going to go back ahead and make it a bit more teal like this. So I think this looks pretty good. Now, after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the text section and I'm going to search in one of these font combinations. Obviously, you can take one of the heading texts and you can customize it accordingly, but they have great font combinations, the pre-made font combination. So I would recommend that you do check those out as well because I find them to be pretty nice and usually they do suffice for my needs. So I'm going to take this font combination. I think it looks pretty good. And I'm going to remove the bottom text and I'm going to add March newsletter. And obviously it's going to be according to your own business needs like this. And I'm just going to place it at the top center over here. And I'm going to go into the effect section. I'm going to capitalize all of this like this. Now, after I have done that, I'm going to make sure this is centered. So you can see this purple line, this means it is centered as well. But I'm going to reduce the box size and I'm going to recenter it like this. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the element section. And what I like to do is when I click like the initial borders, I like to click on see all over here and I have similar designs recommended to me. And what I like to do is take like a similar design and then I like to reduce the size of that, rotate it like so rotate it to 90 degrees like this and then what I like to do is do Control c and Control v like this place it right parallel to the first one and then what I can do is I can place the images at the center of this block so if I have a Marsh newsletter if it's a lookbook or something so I'm just going to search for fashion over here and I'm going to use any sample images just to show you guys what I really mean by adding images into these boxes so I'm just going to take this image and I'm going to reduce the size obviously you're going to size your images accordingly or size your boxes according to your images but like this I would usually place the images between these borders and these look really nice and it provides like a really coherent look but you can also go into the element section and go back into your shapes and lines over here take a simple square and then we're gonna resize it place it right over here I'm just gonna move the borders away from each other I'm gonna make like a rectangular section so I'm just gonna take this move this over here like so place the square right over here expand it onto the other side 
change the color into white so i'm just gonna go and change it to white and then i can add like my paragraph text or whatever text i might want to add so i'm just gonna delete this and now i'm gonna use this font i'm gonna ungroup it and then i'm gonna use this font so you can add whatever text it might be what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna add some sample text just to show you guys what it's going to look like when you create your own newsletter so march lookbook for the new season stay ahead of fashion trends this lookbook and i'm just going to place the text right onto the center of the white block that i created and now there's like a larger impact on the text you can add any like slogans or if you have like an important message for your brand to convey for the specific month that you're creating with this newsletter in then you can add like the top headlines or like the top news into this little block section now below that you can add some body text and you can add images as well so what i like to do is i'm just going to take this sample text and i'm going to make this a like vertical column like this and then on the other side what i would recommend is that you go on to your element section you search for borders and you take like simple borders to add your images to so like take something like these simple lines like these ones and then you can place them over here and then place another one at the bottom resize it place it at the bottom like this and then you can add your images over here. So this is how easy it is to create a newsletter. If you want to create a multi-page newsletter, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on duplicate page over here, and then you can remove all of these sections like this. And then I'm just gonna delete everything other than the borders and the basic page color. And then let's say if you have like a lot of text heavy documents, you can add like all of your text over here like this. And if you want, you can also reduce the size of your borders or you can create different sections. Like if I go into my element section, I can search for box. I can search for a rectangle. So I'm just going to search for rectangle over here. And then you can just take one of these like simple, this like gradient kind of strip or like a gradient block even. And then I'm just going to click on see all and show you guys the different gradients. But I think this one actually looks a nicer, this pink and green one. And I can just resize this. And you can just place this over here and then add some more body text to it accordingly. Like this, I'm just going to expand it onto this side to have like a green gradient, like so. So you can add two of these in the row and then you can add some imagery over here if you want. Or you can make this like totally split between the paper. So it could be half and half. So you can add text into the gradient blocks and then you can add images on the side and then you can add any kind of remaining text or images at the bottom so this is how easy it is to create your own newsletter using canva i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video